Got a, a remote sensing device uh, that measures the, the flow rate. Let's take um, a, a bigger one, would be like the Arkansas River. This is the Arkansas, Upper Arkansas. Arkansas River is a huge river system. I'm trying to the Lower Arkansas. How about the Middle Arkansas near Coolidge, Kansas? Oh, oh, Kansas, interesting. So we are out in Kansas now. And um, it's dry. Wow, look at that. There's no cubic feet per second. So my guess is it's either frozen or dry. So I thought that would be a relatively river uh, larger. Here's the Colorado River near Grand Lake, Colorado. I'm trying to find one that would be a lot bigger. Well, here's our median data. There you can see, and that's about eight cubic feet. So it's pretty slow. Part of it is that I'm doing this in February. And if I were to do data um, in um, uh, the middle of winter, it would obviously be a different date. I can also change this uh, to 120 days and we can get some more uh, important data, or just some longer term data. Here's our data right here for that, and you can see a little bit more. Okay, I think we should go back to the PowerPoint, and uh, yeah, I think we're good on that. So let's talk about this here, my pen. Um, what are the causes of variability of the stream? What's gonna cause the stream to have different stream discharge? Well, dry periods cause less water, doesn't it? Okay, increased rainfall causes more water, and then increased snowfalls causes more. Okay, so if you have a, a really um, a snowy winter, and then you get rain uh, snow melt in the spring, the biggest uh, the biggest discharges happen during during the, the spring runoffs, typically here at least here in Colorado, because that's where um, all the snow gets sort of stored for the, the winter, and then it gets uh, discharged. So to do this, what we need to do is we want to look at a topographic map. So here I have a topographic map, if you're looking at this. This is near Estes Park, Colorado. All right, so we here are near, near Estes Park, Colorado, and we're going to take a look at this, um, this river called um, Black Canyon. Okay, now this will be the headwaters of the Thompson River, as it turns out. And we can see Black Canyon. They got Black Canyon Trail, it looks like, so you can uh, walk across that. It's a cool trail, I'm sure. And we're going to try and figure out um, what the um, gradient is. Now, it's important to understand what these lines represent. They represent uh, a number of feet and whatever, right? And so what we need to do is need to count the lines. So we're going to count these lines, and each of these lines represents, let me go down to the key, down here are the, uh, this is one of those topo maps. It says the contour interval right here, it says is 40 feet. And so if it's 40 feet, I'm going to count the lines. I think we're just going to go from sort of the tip of this black place to down here the blue. Now, you notice that there's some darker lines, right? So if we look at the darker lines, I can count one darker line. I see a two, a dark line. I see a three, dark line, a four, and a five. And actually, you can kind of see that this is at 7,800 feet. And this one right here is, I'm trying to find it, it's at 9,088. Oh, how oh man, that's easy. So if you've got from 78, actually from 88 to 7,800 feet, that would be 1,000 feet, right? So let's record that, that we have 1,000 feet. So we have, looks like, 1,000 feet in drop. So that's how far it drops. Now what we need to do is we need to measure essentially the distance from, from here down to here in terms of miles. So how many miles is that? So I'm going to grab my trusty ruler, math ruler. OK, here's my ruler. Um, We'll do centimeters. And so here's my ruler, and I need to move my ruler up here. Now, we're assuming it's going in a straight line, and it isn't exactly going in a straight line, but we're going to say it's pretty close. But it's going to be like 10. So now if we go here, we've got about uh, 10 and a half inches, right? Now that's, or centimeters. This is in centimeters. But what good is that? Hmm. What we need to do is we need to look at our key and then compare and see how the key works out in terms of that. So down here, so we look down here at the um, uh, the scale here. I'm going to get my ruler, and if you recall, we were at ten and a half uh, centimeters, which is right here. So if we look at that, it looks like it's. Um, this is one mile from here to here, and from here to here. So it's almost two miles. I'm going to call that 1.9 miles. So we've got 1.9 miles. So we've got that. So let's go back to that other screen. We've got 
1.9 miles, and we measure it in feet per mile. So you'll take 1,000 feet divided by 1.9 miles. Now I'm going to get my calculator out. So it's easy math. So up here, here's my calculator. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, 1,000 divided by 1.9, and you get 526 feet per one mile. Very simple math, but you've got to be able to recognize when you're looking at the topo map where you're starting and where you're going to, and then you have to go down to the, the, the key and measure that using your trusty ruler. So that's how it's done. It's not terribly, terribly difficult. So that is it, my friends. We are finished with our podcast. So we will see you in class. Goodbye.